Let me show you another video, and this is now looking into the future. Our galaxy and the great galaxy in Andromeda are on a collision path. They're rushing toward each other at about 200 kilometers per second. In about three billion years, they'll pass each other, and within five billion years or so, they will form an elliptical galaxy. Watch how that happens. The two galaxies are interacting with each other gravitationally and producing a huge number of stars which appear as blue. Millions of stars will form. And the galaxies, which were these nice disks of stars, get all messed up because of this gravitational interaction between them. And then even more messed up when the two galaxies come back together and very quickly their centers join. We've seen many examples of these galaxy collisions at all different stages, and they look just like these kinds of simulations. The dust that's produced by all these new stars and their supernova explosions is shown. And now you can see that, that the stars have sort of formed this elliptical galaxy. They've relaxed into that shape. What we're doing now is just taking a tour around it to see what it looks like. That was a big dust lane. So this is what is going to happen in our future. When these collisions between galaxies occur, the stars hardly ever collide. Outer planets in planetary systems may be detached, though. So when the universe is about twice its present age, most distant galaxies will have disappeared over the cosmic horizon because of the wild space, the dark energy that's tearing the universe apart. And Milky Andromeda, which is what we might call the resulting galaxy from this merger of Milky Way and Andromeda, will eventually become all that's visible. We've run computer simulations into the future, so that's what it looks like today with all the dark matter surrounding us. In 40 billion years, there's just a few bits of dark matter, and in 80 billion years, Milky Andromeda is completely isolated the rest of the universe has essentially disappeared. Enrico Fermi, a great physicist in the middle of the 20th century, said, once a technological species embarks on spaceflight in a determined way, only tens of millions of years would be required to explore and perhaps colonize an entire galaxy. So if alien intelligences exist, we should know about them. Where are they? The conditions that led to the appearance of intelligent life on Earth may be so rare that we are the only intelligent creatures on all the planets around the hundred billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. If we are alone, then we're the first creatures who've begun to understand the cosmos, and we are significant in an almost terrifying way. We've now discovered over 800 planetary systems that have been published, and another couple of thousand that are about to be announced. Uh, we have not found any planetary system that looks like ours. In many ways, ours seems almost uniquely perfect for the evolution of life on our planet, with Jupiter protecting us rather than destroying the inner planets as massive, star massive planets like Jupiter have done in so many other systems, for example. So the future of the entire visible universe may depend on us. If we humans begin to think cosmically with a long-term view, our descendants could be the source of intelligence for the future, the entire future visible universe. And of course, this will require changing our way of thinking, which is uh, extremely short term today. So let's come back to Earth. This is a recapitulation. Starting from the Big Bang. Through the mapped universe. to our local supercluster. The Virgo cluster. Our local group. 
our Milky Way. Back to our part of the galaxy. back home. So think cosmically, act globally, and eat locally. Thank you.